Hello viewers, JB2K here and today we're going to be starting up Planet Explorers. Now, this is a new game which has uh, just popped up on Kickstarter and it's an open world sandbox role playing game if that classes as a genre, I'm not too sure. But um, very interesting game, it's kind of similar to Minecraft where you can build things and cr craft uh, different uh, objects and equipment to use but it's got more of a story to it which we're going to be looking into today just to uh, show you how to get started in the game and uh, what you need to know to enjoy it so let me know what you think and put the comments down below to tell me what you think about this game and what you want to see in future episodes but first of all we're going to be starting off with a cutscene to introduce you to the story and what it's all about it's been a long time coming as the first humans to ever venture out this far into the frontier, I cannot emphasize how proud I am to have made this journey with you, all of you. I look forward to us building a new home together. Let us make Moria into a shining beacon of the human civilization. Many rivers we had to cross, but we finally found our way. Separation complete. We are going for atmospheric entry burn in three, two, mark! Object approaching. Emergency evasion. Sensitive point side damage. Get out of here! Go down. So here we are, just spawned in after a crash landing on the planet. Had to play this with quite low settings because it is a little bit. Um, dodgy at the minute because of um, probably just gets in alpha but uh, so the view distance isn't great at the minute and sort of the uh, it's not too smooth looking round but it's looking nice and we're gonna go talk to uh, Gertie over there figure out what's going on you're awake the way we crashed I thought we were both goners never trust machinery made on earth <laughs> so that cough signifies that she's not well. So hopefully we're going to uh, sort her out and, f and uh, get her some sort of medicine. I believe that is the first task of the day. What is it now? Well, that's not very nice. So in case you didn't... What? What? Um... So in case you didn't know, I mean, the, the way to interact with characters, you want to right-click on them. Otherwise, if you if you left-click, you'll end up punching them. Huh. I'm not joking. Nice little cry chop there. So let's get our first task. What is it now? Or should I say, let's find out where we are and what I happened. The locator. We should be somewhere on the southern hemisphere. Oh. Probably the Galileo continent. Here's a map. So to access your map, you want to. Cheers. You want to press M. It comes up with a huge map. So that's where we are. And um, I mean, look at it. It's absolutely massive. I'm not sure how much you can you can access in the alpha, but the plan is for the full game to open it all up from the start. So you can be a true planet explorer straight away. Yes. So let's find out what happened. Not what we were expecting, huh? Our first day on Maria, I think we hit something really hard coming down. Strange though, since our radar system should have discovered any space fragment and avoided it. I wonder if my brother is all right. Hmm. Did you not pay attention at all in colonization prep class on the way over? <sighs> Maria is the second planet orbiting the Epsilon Indy star system. 11.83 light years away from Earth. It has 80% Earth mass, 26% oxygen atmosphere, and 83% surface water. <coughs> it's very similar to Earth. Well, before that planet became a gloomy, polluted mess. So also this game is set in the future, so um, 
I'm guessing they've been colonising different planets. But as you said, this is very similar to Earth. Um, although you'll find out later there's some creatures and animals from Earth's past which make an appearance here, as you'll see in a little bit, see it, as you'll see shortly, should I say. Now sometimes, probably gets due to the alpha, if she doesn't actually, uh, her voice doesn't work. But the gist of it is, um, she, uh, she needs some herbal juice because she's been injured in the crash. So what we're going to do, we're going to shovel around the ship and find, um, a the emergency kit which should have the uh, herbal juice that she needs. So here's a little uh, guide for you. I'll go through some of the building stuff in a future episode, but the key thing here is uh, the rep replication uh, system, which is a lot like crafting. So um, she'll give you information, I think they call scripts, about certain items, such as shovels, which is going to be the main thing, because we're going to need to dig around the ship to find the uh, medical kit. And while she's giving you a script, which basically shows you what materials you need, and much like Minecraft, as, as I'm going to mention a few times, then you know what you need to go out and find. And once you've got it, you can make whichever item you want. Be careful. That is all. So we need this emergency kit. So I believe... Uh, so if you do want to sort of recap what your missions are, you want to use this scrolly thing down here. But here's a replication thing. I think there's another, there is another button which you did mention. Okay, this is what we need. So we want to go into I for items, and then this is a sh shovel. You want to right click it, and after you've done that, you've got in here rep replicate replication. Uh, you want to press G, G for replication, or you can just click the little hammer icon down there. So for the shovel, we need ten wooden. Uh, blocks. Now the trees are all very really different. So at first I was like, well, which ones are trees, which ones are plants? But there are these thin ones here. And hopefully, if we look in the uh, inventory, we've got a knife, which I believe uh, well, it can barely cut down a tree. You know, stick it in there, and if you press one, you've now armed a knife. So we're going to go have a look and get 10 blocks and uh, join me again after I've um, taken down this tree. So there we go, we've got all the wood we need and we can go back and um, sort her out or get this shovel which is what we need. Now, I might be wrong about this, but I think that, um, I mean, eventually you can upgrade to axes and stuff, and I think that sort of the better equipment you have, the more wood you can get, because from that first tree I managed to get seven, and as you just saw in that last one I got 12, but I've had as many as 15 blocks from a certain tree, and more than that, so, um, so I think that's important later on in the game. So of course, I want to press G again. So we've got enough of that, you want to press this big button here. There we go, so that should be in my inventory right now. And of course we can equip it. Number two. There we go. Can do some gardening or whatever you want to do now. So there should be a box down here somewhere. And um, see what there's a little thing there. So you want to right click to do your digging. So left quick. How wrong I was. Now, I've actually done this before, so I know this takes absolutely ages. So if you want to come back to me in a second, and hopefully I have this opened, and we can see what's inside. So 
So here we go, we managed to um, uncover this little box here, emergency box with all kinds of things. I'm going to move it all over to here, or something. Where did that go? Oh, it's gone in there. Sweet. Got a bed, got scripts for an axe, a pick, the herbal juice which um, Gerdy needs, is that her name? Gerdy. Headlamp, lots of dirt blocks which you can build uh, housing and defences with, and a wood hilt. Not too sure what that's for, but see what we can do with that later on. That was a successful little trip. So let's go back. Well, she's already telling us what to do. We need to. Uh, so we've got the script now for the herbal juice. So let's um, press G, replicate, and figure out. Oh, before we need to do that, we need to click on it, which is right there. G. Hill juice, iris, peach flower, tulip. I've actually already got a tulip, accidentally. There. Well, luckily, I think there's an iris right here. Oh wait. Something like that. Am I doing this right? Right clicking, but let's try it with a tulip again. Sometimes it just don't want to work. Oh my god. Let me just figure out what's wrong and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, that was easy. I think just a bit of a glitch in the game, but there we go. Right click, we've got our iris, and we've already got a tulip, and from what I saw earlier, peach flowers are that way. Now you can change from a run to a walk by pressing R. Not really sure why you'd ever want to do that, but I think perhaps if you build some sort of civilization, you might not want to run everywhere. I don't think there's any energy system on this game, but anyway. Come on. I guess sometimes you just need to be stood close enough to it for it to actually work. See, like this thing, like, obviously it's, it's got a wooden s sort of stem. But you don't get any wood from it. Now, I wonder what all that stuff is over there. It's very interesting. Not the plants, but they're massive. <laughs> we'll check that out later on, but let's go back. Well, before I do it, I'll um, can probably make this herbal juice. There we go. We need to go and chat to Gertie. She'll be happy. Successful mission. 